the synovial cavity of the knee joint is continuous, not separate compartments. When distended, the synovial cavity holds between 50 and 150 cc's of fluid, but normally the synovial cavity is flat and only contains three cc's of fluid enough to nourish and lubricate the joint. Here, dye has been injected into the knee and notice the extent of the synovial cavity it comes down the sides as well. When the knee is straight, the, the synovial cavity is pushed up against the back of the knee joint and flattened so it pushes all of the fluid to the front of the knee, which is a principle we use when doing the bulge sign. Under normal circumstances, the contours of the knee joint can be easily seen. There's a concavity on either side. In this case, there's an obvious infusion. An effusion is excess fluid in the joint that's caused by trauma or disease. And in cases like this, it's obvious. But in other cases, the effusion may be minimal and we have to be able to do the bulge sign or, or take advantage of the fluid wave that we can create in order to detect uh, small effusions that indicate that pathology is present. This patient is 63 years old. He has a prior ACL on his left side. On the right side, he's normal. You can see that the contours of the right knee are normal. On the left side, he's having some trouble and it looks a little bit bigger. We'll need to do the bulge sign to see if he has an effusion. We milk the fluid out of the medial pouch and then use our hand in this manner to bring the fluid back in. What we see is the, this is called a fluid wave. This is called the bulge sign. There we go. This individual is 53 years old. She has arthritis in both of her kneecap joints. She's been having more trouble with the left recently. And looking at her joints, uh, she's got some puffiness, but she does have concavities here and here and here and here. And you can't really tell if she has an effusion in either knee by just looking at her. We will need to do the bulge sign test in order to determine if she has an effusion. So uh, she has some patellofemoral arthritis. We're going to milk the fluid out of the medial side here like this. And come back down like so. You can see the fluid wave. Now we move over to the other side. And we'll do the same thing. They are trying to move worse on this side. Notice that the contours are a little bit uh, flattened out here. So we're going to milk the fluid out of the medial side of the pouch and then come back down. You can see the fluid. It's not quite as much on this side. And she's had an injection on this side. So there we go. This patient's 21 years old. She's had ACLs on both knees. The right one doesn't give her any trouble. She recently uh, twisted her left knee and is having some problems here. When you look at her, she has pretty normal contours on this side. There's some puffiness, but she has convexity here and here. She also has convexity here and here, but this area looks a little bit more puffy. So we're gonna use the bulge sign test to check her for an effusion. I hope this video was helpful in understanding, performing, and interpreting the bulge sign test. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and when you do, press the bell next to the subscribe button, and you'll get my future videos. Thanks for watching.